Hello everyone, this is um, February, no, sorry, this is um, Valentine's special. Love reading for Aries people. So this time I'm going by your star sign because if you watched any of the February uh, love readings, um, you will know that I went by the star sign of the person you're in love with. But this time this is for your star sign. So Aries, women and men both of you and then if i get anything different i will i did actually um i've already shuffled i've already um <clears throat> as you can see uh, pulled the cards for you so what do aries or what us aries need to know us aries need to keep an open mind in respect of love and relationship because things are probably not as um simple as everyone would have liked them to be so what he says to us what the advice is we need to make plans for our future in respect of love and envisage our relationship as we want it to be but we also have to have faith that the choices we are making are the right choices so we have to know what we want for the future when it comes to love be clear about it believe is possible and trust ourselves and our choices if we are already in a relationship <clears throat> it seems that things are complicated because of legal aspects official matters that need attention and they take time so <clears throat> and they create confusion Sorry, these were in this way. And they create confusion. We need to make choices. Or the person we are in love with needs to make choices. And we feel like they have to hurry up. They need to make their choice. We want to see that change. <clears throat> Let me see. Not that it's um, relevant necessarily for you to see the cards, as I always say. Um, it's just whatever uh, I'm being guided to give you. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, Aries people, we need to know that things are changing. The partner or potential partner, I will let you know if um, we are not um, already in a relationship, what we need to know. The potential partner, if we are not already in a relationship, we are going to meet the person. So, <clears throat> it applies whether we are coupled or not. We just um, take the information and apply it to the situation. So as Aries people need to understand that things are changing, but we have to look at things also um, in a more positive way, more hopeful and understand and believe that we'll be leaving troubles behind. We are too much in our mind and we worry too much about things and we don't always trust. Um, the outcome is going to be as we want it. But if we planned our future in the right way, and if we haven't, this is the time. This is a time now, just after the eclipse um, in uh, Leo. Uh, sorry, after the full moon in Leo and the lunar eclipse. It's all about ourselves. It's all about the self. <coughs> Excuse me. It's about who we want to be. It's about how we create our future so we need to plan we need to believe and we need to trust ourselves we need to have patience because things don't depend on the person we are in love with only they depend on other people and the issues are legal so quite serious <clears throat> it doesn't matter whether <coughs> They are in a dead relationship that needs, um, you know, separation um, to be officialized, like a divorce or something. <coughs> Excuse me, still not well after the cold. Um, but we have to make sure that they are going to make that decision <coughs> and choice. And things are changing for the better. <coughs> Excuse me. 
as you can see i'm struggling and i'm doing my best to do this for you guys <coughs> and offer you this for valentine's i hope you appreciate and enjoy it and more than that i hope you find it useful and apply it <coughs> so i'm going to have a lozenge as at as the same time um, so i can speak continue to speak so it's very important that we stop staying in our mind and worrying so much about what's going to happen as long as you believe the outer outcome is going to be positive <coughs> if you are not coupled you are going to meet somebody but you have to apply everything that i said plan have faith Trust yourself. Be patient if they are going through a tough situation that involves other people. Not necessarily relationship, but it can be. However, it could also be that they have to deal with legal aspects regarding their financial situation, house, it doesn't matter, business, whatever. That takes time. That depends on other people. They may not be focused on love as you would want them to be, hence not behave as you would like them to. But they will get to that point. They'll make that choice. They will see things in a different way. So if you meet them at a point where they are not quite focused on love and relationship, be patient with them. They will. If you are a man, let's do this for men first because they are not patient, generally speaking, especially Aries people, as we know. If you are a man, you need to understand that the woman you are with or are going to be with is um, is thinking, is wanting and planning on being independent. So you have to accept a woman who is independent, who wants to have it all because she works for it all and she deserves it all. However, she might, f might find difficult to have patience because, as I was saying, Aziris are very impatient people in general. And um, you ha so that means you have to be determined and act quickly and be to the point. Not quickly as in too fast um, and stupidly, but quickly as in show determination for um future with them and then take the time to work on it and see whether it is a good idea but they need to see from you f soon enough that you are determined to give it a good go and try and be committed you got to be um aware of the fact that they are very to the point they speak directly they mean what they say say what they mean they can be quite harsh and they have, as I said, no patience unless you speak to them and they will tell you that. And they will tell you as it is. So know that an Aries woman will be very independent woman. She wants it all, as I said, but she does work and deserves it at the same time. And you have to accept a, a strong woman. However, she is also still a sensitive person. He needs love because otherwise she wouldn't be in a relationship or she wouldn't even entertain the idea of a relationship. If you are a woman, <coughs> you need to understand that your man or the man that you're going to meet is struggling to succeed. So he's perhaps not in the situation you want to be with, uh, want him to be in, and you together are not in the situation you want to be in yet however he's taking action and he's struggling and um, putting effort into succeeding but things are really difficult again you know a clarifier he's he's not having this easy getting to a lot of struggle for him getting to the point of success where he wants to be <coughs> takes a lot of hard work in action in thinking in feeling 
it's all very difficult it's a struggle so you really have to be to be patient patient and what he's uh, working towards freeing himself whatever he needs to free himself from so i hope this helps every people i hope you have a lovely valentine please let me know how you find the reading enjoy share subscribe love you and speak to you soon